Hi, I'm Pam Granger Gale of Paper Magic, and I am going to talk to you about the process of making paper. Paper making was discovered by the Chinese in the first century. They would beat the inner bark of mulberry trees with rocks to make the fibers smaller. Then they would catch the fibers on a screen set called a mold and deckel, like this one. Either they would let the paper dry directly on the screen or cooch, which is pressing the paper on a post. I have been making paper since 1982 when I took a short class on paper for art teachers. A friend and I borrowed the equipment and stayed up well into the next morning making paper from everything we could find. I have been in love with the process ever since. I use either a drill and a paint mixer or a blender to beat my fibers to a uniform consistency. Then the fibers are collected into a tub or a vat filled with water. Once in the vat and dispersed with the water, the pulp is like soupy mashed potatoes. Then with my mold and deckle matched together, I dip it into the pulp and pull it through catching the fibers, making sure the screen set is level for an even piece of paper. Shaking the screen horizontally and vertically help lock the fibers together. The mold is taken off and a new piece of paper is cooched onto a wet blanket. I continue alternating blanket and paper until the post is large enough. Now let's watch that process in action. that again because each piece of paper is individually pulled from the vat of pulp. I have to wake up the fibers.
leave it in the press until the water has stopped dripping. Now that there's no more water, I'm going to take my post out of the hydraulic jack and carry the post into my drying press. The drying press consists of a fan, cardboard, sheets, and weights. I take the blankets off one at a time to reveal the fresh paper. I place each paper on the sheet in the drying press. Then I layer a new white cotton sheet and a piece of cardboard. I'm going to continue this until all the paper is out of the blankets. Once all the paper is in the drying press, weights are added so that the paper may dry flat. Depending on humidity, the fan needs to run for 24 to 36 hours. After that time, I get to take the paper out of the drying press and it will be ready to use for lamps, journals, note cards, and stationery. Here's some paper that I took out just this morning. Check out my Etsy store at papermagic.etsy.com. Custom work is always welcomed, and thank you for watching.